Callisto 5 and Callisto 9 parts replacement. Replacing the CalGas module, Callisto C501 and C901. In this video, we will show you how to replace the calibration gas module on a Callisto 5, Callisto 9 monitor. This module should be changed when the pressure regulator is blocked or when the output pressure is not steady. Here are the tools you will need. A large flat screwdriver. A quarter inch open end wrench or quarter inch torque wrench. 34 pound force per inch. A Phillips number one screwdriver a CGA-180 wrench, isopropyl alcohol, adhesive thread locker, Loctite 242, a lint-free cloth. Removing the calibration gas cylinder. Make sure the monitor is turned on. Now, let's direct our attention to the screen of the monitor to follow important instructions. On the door of the Callisto, navigate to the Maintenance menu and select Change Calibration Gas Cylinder. Read the on-screen information and press Next for each one. Select Next to begin the procedure. Open the Callisto enclosure to access the old calibration gas cylinder on the door and then press Next. Close the shutoff valve on the old calibration gas cylinder until a moderate resistance is encountered, and then press Next. Disconnect the fitting from the old cylinder using the wrench provided, undo the strap holding the cylinder in place, and remove the empty cylinder. Protect both the calibration gas cylinder and the regulator with clean protective caps. Removing the calibration gas module. Unscrew the calibration gas fitting with a quarter inch open end wrench, but do not remove it. Unplug the pressure transducer harness connector from the door. Remove the three screws and washers from the calibration gas module. Hold the regulator assembly with your other hand when removing the last screw to prevent it from falling. Keep the screws and washers for later use. Carefully remove the calibration gas module. Keep the module in a clean place. Installing the new calibration gas module. Now, take the replacement module. With two quarter-inch open-end wrenches, unscrew the tube's protective cap. Install the cap on the old calibration gas module tube. Screw it finger tight. While holding the calibration gas module in place with one hand, insert the calibration gas tube into the adapter fitting and screw it finger tight. Insert the tube carefully into both raised legs. Add an adhesive thread locker to the three screws. Make sure to align the module assembly against the three mounting holes. Install washers and screws. Take care not to screw in completely so that you can adjust the assembly later. Swage the gas calibration tube in place by either using a quarter-inch open-end torque wrench set at 34 pound-force per inch or by turning a quarter of a turn past finger tight with a regular open-end wrench. Connect the pressure transducer harness connector to the door. Installing the calibration gas cylinder. Replace the used gasket on the stem with a new PCTFE gasket between the cylinder outlet and the regulator inlet. Connect the new cylinder to the regulator inlet. Make sure that the bottom of the cylinder is ready to be strapped in place. 
Tighten the nut, finger tight, onto the new cylinder, ensuring that there is no play between the cylinder and the stem. You may have to move the cylinder slightly to ensure proper finger tightness. Secure the cylinder using the strap. Then, tighten the nut between one quarter and three eighths of a turn. This will deform the PC TFE gasket to form a leak tight seal. Crack open the cylinder shutoff valve and reclose as quickly as possible. Wait until the venting is complete. This should take about three minutes. Once the venting complete screen appears, press next. Another venting must be performed. Crack open the cylinder shutoff valve and reclose as quickly as possible. Wait until the venting is complete. This should take about three minutes. Once the venting complete screen appears, press next. Open the calibration gas shutoff valve about one full turn. Verify that the calibration gas pressure is above 800 PSI. If not, contact Morgan Schaefer. Otherwise, press next. Close the Callisto door. Fully tighten the door latches to prevent water ingress and then press next. Remember to enter the new calibration gas numbers using Callisto Manager. Note that this step will be explained in the configuration video. Confirm that all previous steps have been completed in sequence by pressing Next. The calibration gas cylinder change is now complete. The unit will automatically resume operation in about one hour. Checking for gas leaks. After installing or changing a carrier or calibration gas cylinder, it is advisable to check for gas leaks. Gas leaks can shorten cylinder lifespan and compromise measurement performance. Please remember that accurate DG data coming from a Callisto means that the transformer conditioning assessment can be made with confidence. Please follow closely these instructions to avoid compromising measurement performance. If a leak checking fluid such as Snoop or Cal Blue is available, it is recommended to check the accessible fittings, particularly those that have been connected in the field. Alternatively, a portable helium leak detector may be used to sniff for leaks around the fittings on a windstill day. If a leak is detected, tighten the leaking fitting by 1 16th to 1 8th of a turn. 22 degrees to 45 degrees. If the leak persists, please contact Morgan Schaefer. Small leaks of calibration gas may be detected by watching for any of the following pressure loss error conditions that are based on readings from the calibration gas pressure sensor. Abnormal pressure drop in one hour. Abnormal pressure drop in 12 hours. Small leak abnormal pressure loss over several weeks of operation. It is recommended that you watch for these errors soon after installing or changing the calibration gas cylinder and that you contact Morgan Schaefer for assistance if they appear. Some care should be taken in interpreting the pressure drop errors as leaks since they could be caused by a decrease in temperature of the calibration gas cylinder if the door is open. To be sure, Close the door and wait to see if the error condition clears. Recommended wait times are 2-hour wait for the 1-hour drop error, 13-hour wait for the 12-hour drop error. This concludes the instructions for replacing the calibration gas module on Callisto models C501 and C901. Please remember to follow these instructions carefully and contact us if you have any questions. Callisto can be virtually maintenance-free when properly installed. If you have any questions about this procedure, please feel free to ask for our help. Morgan Schaefer offers worldwide service and technical support. We are here to help you. For detailed information, please refer to the Callisto 5 and Callisto 9 installation 
and Operation Manual, or contact Morgan Schaefer's Technical Support Department. This video was produced by Morgan Schaefer, a Doble Engineering Company, subsidiary of ESCO Technologies.